I took over the responsibilities of a country at the request of these students, a country which is in almost always a completely mess. In their efforts to stay in power, Sheikh Hasina dictatorship destroyed every institution of the country. Judiciary is broken. Democratic rights suppressed through a brutal decade and a half long crackdowns in every way. Elections were rigged blatantly. Generations of young people grew up without exercising their voting rights. They never had an opportunity to go to a polling booth. Banks were robbed with full political patronization. And the state coffer was plundered by abusing power. Excellencies, a new era has begun as the students impressed upon us their dream of a country where people, regardless of their political, religious, or ethnic identity, would be able to fulfill their aspirations and enjoy full freedom of expression with the government upholding democracy, justice, and human rights and freedom of speech. Top priority of the interim government would be to bring law and order situation under control. As you saw a little while back, it was delayed because I was unwilling to bring police to let them go. I said, let's talk. Let's be peaceful. That's why it took time. We will be close to normalcy within a short period, I hope. I hope. With the unwavering support of our people and patriotic armed forces. The police force has also resumed their operations. The armed forces will continue to serve in aid of civil power as long as the situation warrants. Our government remains pledge bound to ensure safety and security of all religious and ethnic groups. We have also made it a priority to ensure justice and accountability for all the killings and the violence committed during the recent mass uprising. I have spoken to the UN Human Rights Chief, Volker Turk. I welcome the UN Rights Officer's move to send a UN-led fact-finding mission. We want an impartial and internationally credible investigation into the massacre and the subsequent due judicial process. will provide whatever support the UN investigators need. The revolutionary students want us to carry meaningful and deep reforms, which will turn the country into a real and a thriving democracy. The task is huge, huge, but I feel it's doable. And we need your support for that, to make it happen. We must succeed. We don't have any other option. We will hold a free and fair participatory election as soon as we can complete our mandate to carry out the vital reforms in our election commission, judiciary, civil administration, security forces, and media. 
we will also make sincere efforts to promote national reconciliation. We will undertake robust and far-reaching economic reforms to restore macroeconomic stability and sustain growth with priority attached to good governance and combating corruption and mismanagement. We are steeped into that. We'll uphold and promise all our international legal obligations including international humanitarian law and international human rights law. Our government will adhere to all international, regional, and bilateral instruments it is party to. Bangladesh shall continue to remain an active prominent of multilateralism with UN at the center. We look forward to maintaining and enhancing Bangladesh's contribution to the UN peacekeeping operations. Our government will continue to support the millions, million plus Rohingya people sheltered in Bangladesh. We need sustained efforts of the international community for Rohingya humanitarian operations and their eventual repatriation to their homeland, Myanmar with safety, dignity, and full rights. I am encouraged by the words of the support by our international friends and partners. I have been receiving many letters from heads of states, heads of governments. It encourages me a lot. Our government will nurture friendly relations with all countries in the spirit of mutual respect and understanding and shared interest. We call upon our trade and investment partners to maintain their trust in us for economic prosperity. For our part, we won't tolerate any attempt to disrupt the global clothing supply chain in which we are a key player. Bangladesh stands at the crossroad of a new beginning. Our valiant students and people deserve a lasting transformation of our nation. It's a difficult journey. We need your help, lots of help along the way. We need to fulfill the aspirations of the people of this country. And we have to do it sooner because they were deprived so long. We have to create opportunities, build a poverty-free and prosperous new Bangladesh.